Tennis fans around the world were treated to a multi-course feast today. The world number one Carlos Alcaraz and number two Novak Djokovic battled each other in the finals of ATP 1000 tournament at Cincinnati. And did the match live up to its billing? Yes, sir and then some. It was topsy-turvy all the way. First set saw Djokovic dominating initially and taking lead. Then Alcaraz started showing his true colors and broke two times to take the set right out of Novak's mouth. Second set was exactly the opposite. Novak looked subdued, served two back-to-back -back double faults and the Spaniard surged ahead with a break and the match seemed to be over meekly. Then it was the Serbian who took the matter into his own hands and leveled up to save a few match points and showed superior mental resolve in the tiebreaker to take the second set. Third set was a total roller coaster of a ride. Breaks, brilliance, unforced errors, wrong choice of shorts, injury scare, time violations, every twists of drama was unfolded. Carlos started looking exhausted after each rally. He was found stretching his fingers repeatedly indicating cramping in his right hand. Novak, on the other hand, appeared unperturbed and soon broke the number one and looked set for a revenge. Then what else, another twist in the tail and there were service breaks left, right and center. Alcaraz hanging on for dear life and taking the match to another tiebreaker. Djokovic failed to convert four match points, one of them with a double fault, showing he was, after all, like every other player. Nervous and tense. Then, finally on his fifth championship point, he served a great second serve, forcing the Spaniard to return long. The championship was his. It was sweet revenge. Novak celebrated the way he did long time back in 2014 after a tough win against Nadal, by tearing up his shirt and roaring Tarzan style. The world no, one was heartbroken and tears welled up in his eyes. Djokovic's award ceremony speech was so elegant and funny, making the boy cheer up again. It was a feast indeed, just like the one we had on the finals of Wimbledon a month ago. A rivalry is very much on. And it is setting up so well. Can't wait for the US Open.